Good morning, everybody. Today we are taking a look at our Black Widow V3 infrared binocular, and we're coming at you with part two of our review. Now, in part one, we briefly talked about the product. We were very happy that we finally got it in. Um, we gave you a vague kind of overall technical background about what the product can or can't do, but we definitely failed to go into detail, and we're hoping to correct that with part two. Now, we did go out to a dark field, we did demo the product, I recorded all of the content, and on top of that, I recorded a video where I kind of document and go over the internal menu on here and talk a little bit more about really what this incredible product is fully capable of. Um, hang tight for a minute, I'm gonna get comfortable, and I'll be right back and we'll get right into the review. Okay, here we are on a local mountain road, very late at night, very dark. We do have a little bit of moonlight available, but Believe me, um, as far as your eye can tell, it is pitch black. Here we took a few photos from about 200 feet away. Pretty good clarity, pretty good detail. Um, make note of the bulletin board in the background reflecting the infrared light. I did not pick a very good environment, and that is, in fact, interfering with the focus and interfering with the contrast a little bit. But overall, uh, the fact remains, we are, we are in a pitch black environment. Detail, clarity, quality, all that is pretty freaking good given where we are. I will attempt to go out, record a little bit more content, um, but for now this will give you kind of a, a fundamental idea of how the optic performs. And one more thing I want to make note is we had no computer-aided zoom right here, okay? So what you're seeing is pure optical zoom from the monocular. It can go up by about another eightfold. Keep that in mind. Take care. 